Hello my friends, Bayani here. In this video, I'm just gonna show you how to install some deck board. Yes. Is this a recording? In this case here, you just have purpose this board. The board has the, the right side to put up. Because if you put it the wrong side, it bowl the wrong way, and then you accumulate water on top of the board. So once it's new, we call this right side up. What I mean, put the right side up. You can see this board here. See how it is make a bow? Little bit of a bow in there on the board. This is the way the board supposed to be, the side of the board supposed to be down. That way you can see if the water goes on top here, the water will just run out, not to stay. Because the bow, if you if you done this way, the board was put the right way, you can see a cap that form in there. The water would be accumulated in here and would cause rotten. So this uh, this board, this is the way to go. Painted the painted the side up. In this case here, that the board, the deck board is dry. I'm just gonna use a spacer from each board. I'm gonna space it uh, about one eight. Yeah, the reason, if you guys don't know, the reason that we leave the space is when it's uh, winter time the board would expand and then gonna be too tight another thing is if we leave the space leave one eight space the moisture the water would go through doesn't accumulate on the board and run down and that way your board would last longer and like a uh, residual like uh, leaves uh, dirt would not uh, accumulate in between the Whatever mess you have on top, a small thing just gonna go down, pass through and go to the floor. The board is wet, once it's dry it's gonna shrink, so I'm gonna give a space weight. In this case, this one is dry right now, I'm just gonna give the space. I'm just gonna work like a, put the first board. Second one gonna go with space about one eight space and the screws that i'm use this is a deck screws two and a half inches is the this size for this board because you need to to hold on the wood on the joists and the joists here they are all treated well I'm gonna show you, put here a few screws and I show you what I want to do. And let me see if I can do it without make a pilot hole. If I have a problem cracking, I just would do the pilot hole. Then I'm gonna choose the my next board. I'm gonna put uh, just right there. And then I put my space. And then you guys can see the gap that we're gonna have more or less. Like I put another space in there. So we look at about. 180 space you guys can see just leave that much space in there on the wind it's gonna be tight i just gonna get this board i will do the pilot hole because it's uh, cracking a little bit 
And the thing that you guys can choose, see like this board here is uh, cracked there red. I'm just gonna check, I still have a space there. I will move it where I gonna cut whenever I can. So guys, let me keep going here. I see you guys on a bit. I'm just showing here that you can show doing different do it. Eh? Just try to show that way that they could do it. They have a good board. Yeah. Yeah. Okay guys, just to show you how it's go. Here once I, I don't want to put the concrete and be walk and shake. Once I get to this point here, I just gonna put some cement, clean this stuff out, put some cement to hold this board real good on place. Because really is, uh, the shed is just sitting there. I need to put some extra supports. So I just gonna show you guys snap some line cut them and then uh, I do this part and then I be back once uh, I be back to show you guys once I'm finished the sand I just gonna regulate the blade to be the same size so the same size as the the thing because I just don't want to cut anything else so how how regulate it I just let it drop in there right on top of the joist to get the size and I just lock it up that way I just cut what I need nothing else I'm gonna cut whatever as much as I can with this saw and then I use the the jigsaw the sawzall to cut the rest and uh, Good idea to wear a protection for your eyes because sometimes the some particles just fly. So. Okay, and what we done in here? We snap line like you guys can see. All the board line there, line where we're gonna put the finish putting the screws. And I just gonna go as fast as I can with the saw. That is the way to go guys, nice and easy. And this uh, this part in here looks very smooth, but uh, if you guys not happy with it, 
it can be sanded a little bit not to be so sharp this side here very much will go the same way I would cut as much as I can with this saw and then on the end once I have all the cut done with the saw I come back with the sawzall and finish up Okay, I just need to screw this board down and uh, put the end here. I'm gonna end up get a drill bit and I'm gonna pre drill the holes on the end of the, all the boards and then I screw it down right on the end when I have all, all covered. And then I would do that. I see you guys in a bit. Hello, my friends. Here we are. The, the board are all in place. Like you guys can see, we have a, a nice uh, gap in there. Here we have the bridge. Here's how we just finish it. I just brought the wood close to this part of the cement. What I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna load a little bit with the the asphalt, gonna pick up a bag of asphalt and then I just melt it down a little bit higher that way the water will come just run away a bit and it's, uh, it is about it, I like the way it end up doing I gonna put some railing on it so it will just be a nice walk here to the shed And uh, just walk in and open both door and uh, very nice. Can be just parking here and gather stuff out. If you want, you can just eat some blueberries. Yeah, guys, this is the way it is. Uh, this is uh, done except for the railing. Uh, part two, part two of this, I would show you guys how to do a railing. I was just thinking about maybe just do a a garden bench, few garden bench on each side, at least one on each side because I don't want to block so much the entrance. I should think about it. Just why I didn't do it. I think I'm just gonna make a kind of bench in the place of railing. That way, somebody could sit. This is a good place to sit on a sunny day. It is a uh, shade most of the day, so it's a good place to do it. And uh, on the end, I just put some, uh, maybe a kiwi plant, a vine, just to grow on top of, of the, the bench, the garden bench. And we keep you guys posted. And I love you guys. Put your thumbs up, subscribe. And if you have any comment, just don't be shy, just write it down. And uh, if you want to share this video, go ahead, share it. It's, uh, share with your friends and families. And uh, see you on the next video. I love you guys. And uh, thank you for your support.